In the fall of 2010, the Asbury University Police Mounts presented as part of the Equine Village during the Alltech FEI World Equestrian Games at the Kentucky Horse Park. The student trainers presented the four stages of the Asbury Police Mount Training Program using 10 three-year-old Percheron thoroughbred crosses. The focus of stage one is to desensitize the horse to movement and touch. To accomplish this, the trainers use soft, rhythmic motion. The horses are rewarded with the release of pressure. When the pressure releases, the horse knows he gave the correct response. While the trainers are helping the horses to accept all the training tools, they are also teaching the horses to ground tie. Once the horse is comfortable with all of the training tools, the trainers build on the foundation of trust by introducing a variety of new objects. This is where the fun begins. We use a variety of objects to desensitize the horses. The trainers are encouraged to be creative. As the trainers increase the stimulus, safety for the horse and trainer is always a priority. As you can see, they have a lot of fun. This type of training helps prepare the horse to stand quietly during unpredictable circumstances. During the second stage of training, the horse is sensitized to the trainer's cues. Stage one taught the horse to stand still and not react to touch or movement. Now, the trainer can teach the horse to know when and where to move. The trainer uses specific pressure to cue the horse to move. Specific pressure can come in the form of constant or rhythmic pressure. The trainer uses various levels of pressure to help the horse develop sensitivity to the cues. Through the increase of pressure, the horse learns that if they move on a light cue, the pressure won't increase. The ability to position the horse and control his feet in various directions is very valuable as the horse learns to maneuver through obstacles and respect the trainer's space. Obstacles are used to build the horse's confidence and prepare them for changes in surface and other challenging situations. Stage three is where the trainer teaches the horse to respond to bit pressure through driving. The horse learns to move forward, turn, stop, and back to a light pressure on the bit. Driving teaches the horse to maneuver with the trainer at a distance. The horses build confidence as they move independently through obstacles. The horse trusts the trainer as the trainer guides the horse to push with his chest and to climb stairs. The trainer asks the horse to do everything in the long lines that he will ask him to do under saddle. In addition to the bit pressure, driving is an excellent way to introduce lateral movement in relation to the bit and the rider's position. Driving the horses together teaches them to work quietly with a partner and prepares them for work in ranks. Now that the foundation has been laid, the training transitions into working the horse under saddle. The trainer uses seat cues to establish forward motion and over time the horse is taught to balance and collect with the rider at the walk, trot, and canter. Obstacles are incorporated into the riding training as the horse prepares to work on the streets and in crowd control situations. The obstacles include over, under, and through scenarios with surface change, loud noises, and tight maneuvering. Obstacle training enables the horse and rider to move confidently out onto the streets for patrol, parades, or crowd management. Finally, the horses learn to perform drill in preparation for tactical formations. Drill work helps the trainer to fine tune their communication with the horse.
Through these four stages of training, the young horse develops into a brave and responsive partner.